two of the biggest problems facing humanity today are issues with obesity and an ever-aging population. Now, this isn't something that we as a species suffer with alone. In fact, it's something we share in common with our great ape relatives. Now, much like the average, average office worker in the UK, chimps in captivity tend to be quite sedentary and lead inactive lifestyles. And in fact, the security that they have within the zoos prevents things like predation and disease. And they also have constant access to medical care. Now, this means that chimp populations in zoos are reaching ages that we wouldn't expect. And that brings around a whole new host of diseases, things like osteoarthritis. Now, we know that chimps in captivity uh, they tend to be less active than chimps in the wild. And young chimps, as they age, tend to lose a whole host of interesting behaviours, particularly locomotor behaviours, that allow them to get around and about in the trees. But what we don't understand is how this same process goes from adult to elderly chimp. Do we lose a similar set of movements? So that's what my research is interested in. I'm trying to understand what behaviours we lose with the transition from adult chimp to elderly chimp and whether this is different between the wild and the captive environments. Um, I'm going to approach these questions and answer them by studying chimps in the wild, observing their behaviours, comparing them to the captive chimps in zoos all over the UK. I'm also going to look at the bones from each site and analyse them for musculoskeletal disease, looking at things like prevalence of disease and severity of disease, and at what point we can expect these diseases to arise. And the reason I want to do this is because I'm hoping to improve living conditions for chimps in captivity today.